Would you like to learn how to draw an African mermaid? Just watch. Hey, I want to welcome everybody back to Mr. Spence Art Room for Kids. First thing I want to say is this video is specifically for ages 13 and older. Thank you for coming back to Mr. Smith's Art Room for Kids. I want to thank everybody for your wonderful words of support during my time of indecision. I was wondering whether or not to continue with the channel, change format, didn't really know what I was going to do due to the COPA rules and upcoming changes in YouTube, but I want to continue making art, but I am going to make art for ages 13 and older, and this video is for ages 13 and older. All right, let's take care of a little housekeeping. Please like my video, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you can get weekly notifications for each week that my videos come out. And if you can do one last thing, share my videos with a friend so we can make Mr. Smith's Art Room for Kids grow and grow and grow. Okay, let's talk about the artwork. Earlier this fall, I was in the Baltimore Museum of Art. We happened to have an art teacher's meeting. Afterwards, I went touring inside the contemporary art section and I came upon a bronze sculpture by an artist by the name of Wageshi Motu, a Kenyan artist, young woman. I was just entranced and transported by this sculpture. It was one of the most beautiful things I have seen in many years. I took some photographs of the piece and I just kept going back to it and going back to it. I later did some research to find out what other things the artist had been doing and what her whole body of work looked like. But this one piece just did something to inspire me. And that's where this drawing came from. From looking at her piece, I just, I had to do this drawing. And as I said before, I have never been someone who uses oil pastel a lot. But in my previous drawing of the Easter Island statues, I really enjoyed using the media. So I said, let me try it again and see what happens. And something magical happened. I loved working with the shadows of the body, the, the highlights. I started using this blue tone and the detail of the hair, just the whole piece really got me, got my artistic juices flowing. Being an art teacher, sometimes it's almost like being, I compare it to being a, a chef in a restaurant. You are constantly drawing and making art. And then when you get a chance to come home to make your own art, you're not as into it. Or as a chef, I not want to cook. But since starting this channel, it has helped me to get back into the rhythm of making artwork, at least one piece of art, each week. 
and that is really getting my artistic juices flowing and I'm starting to get back to the old Mr. Smith that was a regular exhibiting artist, making art, working in the studio constantly. So the one thing I will say to my YouTube channel, it has really gotten Mr. Smith to making art on a regular basis. And I love sharing it with you but it's doing something for healing me as an artist. And I hope that you enjoy this piece because I really did. Again, the artist that inspired me, his name is Wageshi Motu, a Kenyan artist. This piece is a bronze sculpture called Water Woman, and it was created in 2017. It can be found at the Baltimore Museum of Art. done what do you think did i do a good job i really enjoyed doing this drawing i did some digital work at the end because i think two mermaids are better than one i hoped you enjoyed my drawing of the african mermaid i had a great time doing it thank you for coming back to watch me i need you to do a few things for me I need you to like my video, share it with a friend, subscribe, hit that bell so you get those weekly notifications each time my video comes out. And come back next week. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye bye.